Hello, ma'am. How are you? How are you today? I'm fine. And you, sir? And what is your name? Tomorrow Wilson. Tomorrow Wilson. My name is Jacuzzi Juma, man. Listen, I'm doing fine myself. What's your final destination? Downtown. Downtown. Where downtown exactly? Um, like at the bus stop downtown. At the bus stop downtown. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. Feel like winning some money today? Most definitely. You could use some money. I could use some money. You could use some money. Who can't use some money? Who can't? Who can't use it? Do you hear that sound? <laughs> That is the money sound, my dear. Mm. And when you hear the money sound, you need to shake up and do something for me. Oh my goodness. Don't shake I, up. I don't, don't. extra money for that? <laughs> no, not at this time. Oh, okay. Then. Listen, you are on Jitney 242, the game show that takes place right here on my bus. Okay, this what, is a new game show. New game show, that's for okay. sure. Right. On the number one station in the nation, ZNS. Oh my 13. goodness. Zephyr. Can you tell me the rest? No, Zephyr. don't worry about it. I will, I will ask the doctor if you don't. <laughs> yeah. but, Ready for the first question? Yes, sir. All right. What is the name of Indiana's NBA team? Is it A, the Trailblazers, B, the Pacers, C, the Globetrotters, or D, the Chiefs? The Pacers. The Pacers. You say that with such confidence. B, Pacers. B, Pacers. And my dear, you are 100% correct, and they will get a cut if come this Saturday. This Saturday. Oh, okay. for sure. You better believe it. From, from, from Miami. You are indeed an intelligent lady. Yeah. If I had my mother give you another ten dollars, oh but you've won ten dollars as well. That's ten dollars in the pot. Second question: Bahamian Chicken Shack, renowned for keeping late hours and sharing Fleming Street with a government clinic, is known as A. Johnson's, B. Keats, C. Pete's, or D. Dirties. Um, a. Johnson's. Is that your final answer? Final answer. Final answer. No, my dear, Johnson's is not there. Uh, he's talking about B. Keats, my baby. No, How can you forget no. Keats? No, I don't hardly eat quick ch dirt, um, chicken. Bamboo. Why are you going to say like dirty chicken? Dirty chicken. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on. Oh, All right. Not to worry that you have one strike against you. Two, two more strikes and I got to I mean, that's even in like baseball, a strike? Yeah, three strikes and you're out. No, you're still in it. You don't lose any money yet, but at the third strike, you lose everything. Are you ready for the next question? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. RBPF stands for A, the Royal Bohemian Pirates Federation, B, the Regal Bohemian Police Federation, C, Regal Bahamas Pirates Federation, or B, Royal Bahamas Police Force. D, Royal Bahamas Police Force? Is that your final answer? Final answer. Your Commissioner Greenspan would be very proud of your answer at this time. You know exactly what it stands for. All right. Are you ready for the next one? That's another $10 added to your pot. You are at $30. Here's the question. Fall is another name for which season? Is it A, spring, B, summer, C, autumn, or D, winter? C, autumn, final answer. You say it with confidence and you are quite right. $40 in your pot. You now reach to the second round of questions where the dollar value increases to $20 for each correct answer, as well as the intensity, the difficulty of the question, also increases. Okay. Are you ready to rumble? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Spider-Man's real name is A, <laughs> Bruce Wayne, B, Harry Osborn, C, Peter Parker, or D, Clark Kent? C, Peter Parker. Final answer. You said that with such confidence. You, I, bet I you saw just a watched the movie. Man, the new wait. one just came out last week. You are on top of things. You are on top of your game. It is accepted that Luke wrote one of the Gospels as well as the book of, is it A, Ruth, B, Acts of the Apostles, C, Romans, or D, Titus? B, Acts of the Apostles. You are so knowledgeable. You go in the church and you get into the show all in one go. I like hanging with you. I, I like you are absolutely church. right. Amen. Halamatanga. <laughs> Which of the following animals does not have a navel? Is it A, salmon, B, rabbit, C, tiger, D, horse? Does not have a navel. Navel? Know? Yeah. You know that um, belly button thing? A, salmon. How do you know? It's a fish. Boy, oh, see, you're intelligent too. Not only are you a church goer and a movie watcher, you are a fisherman by trade. Yeah, I like snapper though. Like snapper? Yeah, salmon is freshwater fish. Talk to me, sister. You know your fish Being too. Salt water fish. Mm -hmm. All around, woman. That's not. That's not.
The next question. While considered a dry period in American history, this event helped to stimulate the Bahamian economy significantly in the early 1900s. Is it A, prohibition, B, allocation, C, permission, or D, validation? A, prohibition to prohibit. The Volstead Act enacted that, lo that by law, alcohol could not be sold in the United States. You do realize you don't get extra points for all the extra information. No, I know, but <laughs> just to let you know, some things I know, some things I don't. Girl, but you are on top of your game. I That's didn't know Keith's chicken, though. I should be knowing chicken <laughs> in the Bahamas. <laughs> all right, not bad, not bad, not bad. That's another $20 added to the pot. Ah, boy, you are breaking the bank. Can't be that woman win $160 when I reach there tonight. All right, really, you're not, you're not doing bad yourself. All right. Here's the next question. Oh, I might know this one. All right, don't worry. You're 50-50 or phone a friend. Okay. The question is, in the TV show Breaking Bad, who was Walter White's alter ego? Is it A, Heisenberg, B, Hussein, C, Jesse, or D, Hank? I have no idea. I'm not too 50 50 because I do not watch Breaking Bad. All right. Not some of the, I'm a law and order girl. Not a problem. We'll take away C and D. So be A, Heisenberg, or B, Hussein. How much further can she go? Join us to see how many more questions she can answer. So be A, Heisenberg, or B, Hussein. Idea, but I'll go with A. Girl, Eisenberg. Even when you don't have no idea, you get the right answer. I like you. <laughs> Another twenty dollars added to the pot, and you are still percolating, my dear. Oh my goodness. Next Thank question. You. Placido Domingo. Placido Domingo. I mean, sorry, I apologize. Can, can we pause? Can we can we just pause, Chris? A second. Can we just pause? Who are you again? <laughs> Placido. <laughs> Here's the question. I love this. Lady. I apologize. I still don't know which one he spoke with, with tenor or baritone. But go ahead. There go we go, ahead. my dear. You, 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 and you in good stead. Mm -hmm. Placido Domingo, Jose Carreras, and Luciano Pavarotti are known as the three A tenors, B stooges, C wise men, or D baritones. I still have one more strike to go, right? Yes, I, I'm gonna go with um, a tenors. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go with that. I, it's either between tenors or baritones, because I know they're not stooges and I know they're not wise men, so I'm gonna go with a... Final answer. Final answer. Final answer, and indeed a good answer. The three tenors. Wonderful stuff. Another $20 added to the pot. Right, and you. you are climbing the money ladder, girl, riding Jitney 242. I what is your favorite new game show? Jitney 242. Girl, I like the way you say it. I like your spirit. <laughs> Kareem Mortimer is best known as a Bohemian A, educator, B, filmmaker, C, stage actor, or D, movie producer. I, I'll go with A, educator. I'm not sure. I know, but I, my phone a friend wouldn't know either, so. All right, phone a friend? No. Taking a guess? Yes. A, educator? No. All right. B, filmmaker. filmmaker okay. All right. I just won $190 on Jitney 242. My name is Tamara Wilson, and I am a social studies teacher at SC Mathewson. Hey! Jitney 242. Next time on the Jitney 242 ride, I don't know who it could be. Maybe it could be you.